All right, welcome back to Ozarks Live, live out at Highland Springs for the Price Cutter Charity Championship. And please say hello to our friend Steph Miller of the Down Syndrome Group Hi, Steph. of the Ozarks. Thank, Thank you so, so much for letting you. me come do this. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. This is your second year being involved yes. with the Price Cutter Charity we, Championship. Uh, one of our board members, Dana Manuel with Modern Women of America, hooked us up with Gerald and Sharon, and we met with them and thought, this is a no brainer. Mm -hmm. All of the, the, the publicity we're going to get, and of course we're part of the charity that get a little bit of the proceeds back, so it's kind of a win-win, and when they came back and said, you want to do it again, I'm like, yes, same thing, same time, same everything, we're in, 100%. Well, it's a fun event, and like you say, you get your name out there, but you get to interact with a whole lot of people who come here to watch, who yes. need something to do in between, and they stop by and they learn something they never knew before, so take a second to educate our viewers yeah. as to what Down Syndrome Group of the Ozarks is and what you do. Well, we are the only Down Syndrome specific organization in the Ozarks. We serve 27, 28 counties. Uh, we do everything from meeting with new parents or parents who have just got, received a diagnosis prenatally. Mm -hmm. So we've got this whole new parent aspect. We also do um, outreach to medical providers. We go and do in-service into the hospitals, explaining the newer diagnosis things, the, train the nurses and the doctors how to give the diagnosis. Ah. Uh, we come in with a new parent basket. Because a lot of times they don't know ahead of time. And so, uh, you know, you have this new baby, you're already overwhelmed, and then you find out that they're maybe not you're not exactly the road you thought you were going to be on. Right. So we come in with some support. People have been trained, other family members, and we provide information and a mentor relationship and get them hooked with our organization. Um, we're really blessed in the Ozarks that there is the ARC and Abilities First mm -hmm. and all right. and CC links and stuff. So part of our job is to just get them hooked up with where they need to be hooked up with, let them know they're not alone, and that, once again, you're not on the journey you thought you are going to be on, right. but it's still a pretty amazing journey in the long run. I'm sure that's a big help for a new mother. And do you see uh, more progress if somebody starts early? Oh, definitely. Yeah. The life expectancy with someone with Down syndrome 30 years ago was 25 to 30 years mm -hmm. old. And now it's they're looking into the 60s and 70s. And it's because of early intervention services, um, not only with our medical providers, but in the schools. Mm -hmm. We're working really hard to get inclusion in a, in a general education classroom. And they're able to get services, watch their peers, learn mm -hmm. from their peers. The peers, the, the typical students, are also getting something out of it they're learning compassion oh, sure and patience mm -hmm. um, and that even though we may be different we're still more alike than than different so exactly. it's kind of cool that so with really us being neat. able to do that with the medical providers we go into schools and do mm -hmm. provide training to the paras mm -hmm. we we have two educational conferences a year we're trying to up that up to some more um, we have social interactions once a month for three different age groups Gosh, we're, we're kind of just all over the place. Um, I'm the only paid employee, so we have a lot of volunteers and a great mm -hmm. board of directors. And uh, our big thing is just get our information out, let uh, people know that, yes, they may have an extra chromosome, and that just gives them a little extra more yeah. stuff to rock. Yeah. And there you uh, go, that's right. They are unemployable. They are employable. They can go to secondary education, like Bear Power at MSU. Right. They can hold typical jobs. Um, they just need... We're just trying to educate the community of what all our members are capable of doing. My so goodness, it's so nice. important what you do. Yes. And I know you depend on this tournament to mm -hmm. some degree for the funding and yes. all of that. And like you said, the education. Um, so it's good to have you out here again. You said, what year is this for you here? Second so year. This is the second we year. We work the Jackson Brothers South. Oh, ten. Yeah, our, yeah. our volunteers are working as servers and cleaners yeah. and stuff like that. And then we have a hole on the ninth. Yes. Or I'm sorry, we have a tent on the ninth hole. And on Saturday's Down Syndrome Awareness Day, we're in, uh, asking people to wear yellow. Just come wear yellow. Come say hello. The oh, first right. 500 people coming in, we'll get an awareness bracelet. Mm -hmm. We have fans and bottles of water to hand out on Saturday. Okay. But we have basically a whole outs outside living area set up under our tent for some R and R. Read some of our material, meet some of our members. So we're really it's excited. Great place to be right there. Oh, there, yeah, we definitely have. Um, it's it's awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> wear yellow on Saturday for Down Syndrome Awareness Day. Blue is for autism on Sunday. On Sunday. Correct. So there's a whole lot of right. awareness happening at the tournament. Steph Miller from Down Syndrome Group at the Ozarks. Thanks, thank thank you, so you so much for all so you much. do. Appreciate yeah. it. Come Thanks and see so us. Much. Yeah, they will. Check them out. They're Ozarks great. Live will be right back after this. Very good. Thank